Hey, TKSPQR, and we're going to talk about 17.0 concentration limitations between battle line markers and columns. Of course, this involves the infantry and cab. Let's talk about the battle line. Only the formation markers of one infantry or a cavalry brigade may end their movement in the same hex with one exception. If more than one battle line marker of the same brigade move into the same hex, simply keep one formation marker and combine the strength. Now they're talking about battle line. So let's do some concentration restrictions with battle lines. Two battle lines of the same brigade. Now that one exception that they talked about earlier is on six. There is one exception to rules one and five above. Flank battle line markers of two different brigades may occupy the same hex. This is the only situation in which the formation markers of more than one brigade may occupy the same hex. In this situation, a maximum total of eight strength points for both brigades may be in the hex. A brigade, battery, or a commander may never enter a hex occupied by an enemy brigade or battery. A brigade or battery which enters a hex occupied by an enemy commander or commanders automatically captures them. So we don't want to do that. Alright, for battle lines. We have two brigades. They're under the command right here. These are the brigade commanders, and it's the same brigade. But they've got a pinch right here, and they've got a restriction. So they've got to do something about it, of course. And there's a couple of ways of uh, dealing with this. One is simply just grab the right thing to grab here. Do that. And these can move up forward. That's one way to do it. Now, say that uh, it's a different brigade, two different brigades. Let me grab a marker here. Go. Two different brigades under two different commands. there is a way for them to link up and that would be simply the flanks
course, the rules indicate that once your flank markers, which are four and four, link up, you can put an eight to let it know that it's now at a strength of eight, even though they're flanks. If the line is too long, both sides can shorten up if you like. So you have 8 and 8. Treat it as 8 with a number underneath. That's one way you can do it. And so much for battle line. Let's talk about column. You have two columns, each with their own command, primary commander. But this column wants to cross over. It can do that, but it cannot land on the same hex like this at the end of its move. Whoops, I knew I'd do that. can't do anything like this. At the end of its move. It's got to make sure that it does cross. Without landing on the same hex. It will be off-road movement. So that penalty does concur. The next turn, the other units may cross over. but it cannot end its move on top of the uh, other column. And then in the next turn, continue on with your tactics. And let's check out and see if there's anything that I left out. Well, that seems to be it. So I'll read, finishing this off with column. If more than one column marker of the same brigade may move into the same hex, but only if their next action is to change into battle line formation, rest formation, or attack column formation. And what you see there is attack column formation. 
A brigade in column formation, which intends to continue to move in column, must maintain its proper formation as described. Brigades which change from rest to column formation can have more than one column marker occupy the same hex, provided that the markers move in normal column formation as quickly as possible. The formation markers of a phasing brigade may pass through a hex or hexes occupied by the formation markers of another friendly brigade, but no marker may end its move in a hex occupied by a formation marker of another brigade in column. So that brings us to the last thing, and that is when and I think the cavalry might be the best. When a cavalry is in rest, it is stacked. And we might as well put the commander there. And when it goes into its uh, rest into action, it can still, once you break them up with the uh, Brigade Commander. You can still leave them stacked. However, not for long. At least in the next turn, break them up and get them moving. Quickly as possible. Okay, that's uh, the end of concentration limitations. Keep gaming.